Hey everyone, this is Scott from Xexpress and this is a installation and configuration video for the plugin Xexpress Social Counter. Well, Xexpress Social Counter is a free WordPress plugin to display your social accounts, fans, subscribers and followers numbers on your website. It is a perfect plugin to show your social media states and encourage more people to join your network. Some of the features of the social counter are that it has five beautiful themes, it has seven major social media outlets such as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google+, YouTube, SoundCloud and Dribbble. The plugin uses the latest APIs to fetch the data. All the APIs for the plugin are up to date. Uh, you can choose which uh, media outlet to show and which not to show. You can also choose the order in which the media outlets are shown. We also have catch setting. The plugin is fully responsive. Uh, we have a very user friendly and interactive user inter interface. Uh, we provide updates uh, and we also provide good support for the plugin. So uh, let's look at the demo of the social counter. The social counter gives us short codes which can be put in either page or post or the widgets. So here are the five different themes. We have this theme 1, theme 2, theme 3, theme 4 and this vertical theme 5. Similarly for the widgets we have theme 1, theme 2, theme 3, theme 4 and theme 5. Now let us see how to install the plugin. So I uh, Currently, I have the Xpress Mag theme installed, in which the Social Counter is one of the recommended plugins. To install the plugin, just go to Plugin, Add New. Then you can go to Upload Plugins. Then you can put the zip format file here. You can get the zip file from our WordPress.org plugins Xpress Social Counter. You just need to click this download button. So uh, we can see that the plugin has been installed. So let's activate the plugin. So the plugin settings are here. So we're going to click on Access Press Social Counter. So this is the back end of the Access Press Social Counter. Here you can see that you can configure your Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, Instagram, YouTube, SoundCloud. Dribble. You can also show the number of posts and comments you have in the site. Uh, we have the display setting where you can order on which, how you can order the uh, social outlets. We have different uh, team options like team 1, team 2, team 4, team 5. Uh, you can choose the counter number formats. We have three different formats. You can also ch uh, choose to enable or disable the Font Awesome CSS for the plugin and also the entire front end CSS for the plugin as well. And then we have the cat setting over here, some system settings, how to use, and a about section. So, so just let us see how. Uh, let us create a platform on to install our plugins shortcodes in. I'm just gonna copy all this content and create a new post. So I'm just gonna paste it here. I'm just gonna call this social counter uh, example. So as we can read through it, uh, to display the social counter profiles with counter, you can either use uh, this sort code with, or the social counter widgets that comes with the plugin. So I'm just gonna delete this part over here and leave this here. So this is the short, short code. Uh, we can also add some extra parameters to the short code, such as which theme to use and we have up to five themes so there are five available themes you can change the theme one up to five so we have the 
uh, sort codes for team one over here if you want the second team just change it to two and so on till the five so here's the documentation uh, for the social counter I'm just gonna leave it as that and the other option you can get is that you can only display the count of without this icon itself to do that you can use this general sort code so for example uh, this is the sort code and we are gonna keep this here and we're gonna remove the so as for this we have pasted three sort codes here one the default one one with the parameter and one just showing the count so this is how you can uh, put the short codes in the post I'm just gonna quickly publish this similarly you can use the plugin with the widgets as well I'm just gonna open a widget page over here so here you can see the access press social counter uh, I'm just gonna keep it in the left sidebar over here you can give a title to it so let's say social counts and you can choose one of the themes I'm just gonna leave it at default here and I'm gonna save so we have set an environment for to see our output for the plugin now uh, let's see how we can configure the plugin so let's begin with Facebook you can either choose to show or hide the Facebook uh, in this case uh, we're gonna just like uh, show it when you tick it it means to show so let me just quickly get all this information now Facebook page ID so Facebook page ID is the page ID for your face face from your Facebook page in my case it is Express themes as we have uh, a page called Facebook Express themes You can log into Facebook page Teams and uh, communicate with us, uh, share your experience and like our page. So while it's uploading, uh, let's go to developersfacebook.com to get our Facebook app ID. So uh, we're just gonna we're just gonna create a new app. So add a new app. So I'm just gonna select website. Uh, I'm just gonna skip this and uh, create app ID. So I'm just gonna give it a name, say social counter. Uh, no, just give it a no. Give a email ID. email ID I'm just gonna leave it at educational and create the app ID so let's verify okay please select all the photos which shows cat so I see a cat here I see a cat here I see a cat here I don't see a cat here I see a cat here I see a cat here and is it a cat or dog I don't know I'm just gonna select and submit it so this is our app ID over here I'm just gonna quickly copy it and put it over here yeah. I'm just gonna make it public okay so show my so this is my app secret I'm just gonna copy it here it here so you can also leave a uh, default count in case a plugin fails to contact the server uh, which I'm gonna leave at blank right now so the next is the Twitter I'm just gonna click on show uh, I'll put my Twitter name okay for the consumer keeps I'm just gonna click on we need to create another uh, application for Twitter as well I'm just gonna click create new app so I'm just gonna give it social account uh, okay description I'm just gonna do the same website uh let's say uh access 
WordPress PG uh, you can skip the call URL you can read all this and accept and agree so create your Twitter application did I miss them okay it's creating okay uh, let me check okay oh yeah I have it open here so I'm just gonna copy this and paste it over here and create your application okay it's gonna go so we have created our twitter application we're just gonna go to keys and token uh, we're gonna copy this consumer key over here and we're gonna paste it here similarly we're gonna copy this consumer secret and again paste it here we need the twitter access token which we can get by clicking here okay it has generated my access token i'm just gonna copy it then paste so setup is generally creating application for your site and just copy and pasting this tokens and secrets so we are done with uh, Twitter as well let's try for Google Plus so so and hide uh, okay my Google let me each plus dot Google dot com. so again I need to create a application So this is my user ID. Now I'm getting the API key. I've already created a project over here, social counter. And I'm just gonna go to Google APIs. I'm gonna go to credentials. Uh, I don't know. I need to go to API and create the Google API. I need the credential for this, which is this. Copy it and paste it. So similar for the Instagram, I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna open my Instagram. And yes. Just gonna open my Instagram, then click on this and click on this. So get token. Get access token. So this is my access token. So I'm just gonna paste it here. So okay. I don't need this for now. So my Instagram username is Express Teams. I'm just gonna copy this and paste it here. Similarly for YouTube. So to get your channel ID, you can click here. So I'm just gonna click it here. So yeah. I need to go to advanced account settings so user ID and channel ID I need the channel ID so you, I need the YouTube URL so which I can think I can get. so go to my channel and this is my channel ID, I suppose. I need the entire URL. So I can just copy channel URL. Similarly, I need the YouTube uh, API key for that. I'm just gonna go here and copy this and then paste this. So I'm just gonna do 
delete this and leave it at blank. So I'm just going to SoundCloud username. Sound card, username, client ID, I can get it from here. So I'm just gonna call it social account demo. So I need the client ID, which is this. So I'm just gonna copy it, paste it here. I'm gonna save this app. Similarly, the last one is the dribble, so I can just uh, dribble username. So I have the dribble username over here. Just gonna copy it and paste it here. I'm gonna check to enable post count and comment count, and I'm gonna save all the changes. So once I have set up everything, I'm just going to go to my post and view my post over here and here we have it our social counter uh, this is the th default one uh, this is the shortcut with theme one definition and this is our widget over here so you can select a default theme from here so if I choose theme 5 as my default and save changes and I'm just gonna refresh it. And so this is our default theme. So here we go. This was our Express social counter. Hope you can use this plugin to increase your fan base for your site and encourage other people to join your net network. Once again, uh, you can download this plugin from uh, our xexpress.com slash wordpress plugin slash xexpress social counter or from wordpress.org uh, wordpress.org slash plugin slash xexpress social counter uh, please uh, tune in to xexpress for more videos on plugins uh, and thank you